I have to watch what I say. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> all right, are we all going to start? Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Ladder in a new podcast studio now. We're not just at a table with two chairs. It's a little bit more official. We got a couch now. We got a seat, and that seat is currently being acquired by none other than Mr. Legan. Yeah. Thanks, guys. How Thanks you doing? for having me. Absolutely. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm preparing for uh, some tweets about asking whether or not we're going to have school tomorrow. So, I'm just, just trying to chill right now and relax before... An intense evening. I mean, I think that segues into one I of the questions. I think that's perfect for one I did not even, I didn't our, even look at the question. One of our questions is, why do you enjoy trolling the students so much about <laughs> snow days I, and days off with your I, tweets? I don't... I do enjoy it. I, 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 obviously, you guys can tell. Um, honestly, it's just it's a way for me to connect with the, with the, the students and um, just... I don't know. I, I'm a real person and not just a principal, mm -hmm. but a father and... Um, I don't know. I just I love to have fun with the students. It, it's it's great. Have, so, you, have you ever received like some tweets back after you've trolled us about a snow day? Uh yeah. Um, some really funny, and then some where I'm like, oh my gosh, like why would someone send this? Um, I think the worst one that I ever received back, and and I talked to some students about it. The person wrote, "You suck at Fortnite. You're a horrible <laughs> father. I hope you kill yourself." Yeah, oh, I, I know, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> that is awful. Uh, it is awful. So, I will just tell anyone that feels that strongly, number one, I don't suck at Fortnite. <laughs> that, that was probably the most offensive. Um, but no, if someone really feels that strongly, just don't come to school that day. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw some of your back and forth last week with the kids about play, you replay solos. It, that's right. But the only people I squat up with are Mr. Leffler, Mr. Lynn and um, Mr. Mulliman. So that's that, that's my team. <laughs> what's our what's our next question? Uh -huh. So we've heard about a new entrance coming to the high school. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, this has been in the making for a couple years. Um, but what we're gonna do right across from uh, Minor Road um, on Wilson Mill or the intersection of Wilson Mills and Minor there's gonna be a direct driveway that comes right into the school parking lot. Um, so you'll see like two houses that are currently there. Um, they may have been demolished already, but two lots. They're gonna completely clear that out and that's gonna be our new entrance. Um, and I'll actually have to show you guys what it, it's gonna look like, but there's gonna be more green space in the front. Um, the current main entrance that is um, by the Innovation Center, yeah. um, that is going to be an emergency only uh, vehicle entrance. So okay. there'll be an arm there. So, you know, when people are vaping and the fire alarm uh, goes <laughs> off, then um, th that, that's the entrance where we're going to have the fire uh, trucks come in. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I heard uh, one of my teachers earlier in the year was talking about what the changes were going to happen. And one of the big like points that came up was what, we're, what you guys were going to do with the. Uh, main entrance now. Yeah, That's awful. yeah so I'm, I'm hoping that it alleviates some of the traffic that we have in the morning. I know that there are a lot of issues with yeah. that. Um, but between that and then um, just adding on to the Innovation Center, uh, which is happening right now, those are two really big projects. Yeah, can you talk to us a little bit more about what's happening at the Innovation Center? Yeah, so um, any, any Excel Tech program that is currently housed here on Mayfield's campus um, is going to be at the Innovation Center, and it is right now. But then we are also going to be bringing over uh, CBEC. Um, and so, you know, we're going to have both of those consortium programs housed over at the Innovation Center. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. So is there any changes happening to the CBEC building? Um, those are undetermined right now. Okay. That's a great question. Um, it's an awesome space. So I know that our district officials are talking about that. And I'm sure they'll come up with something awesome. Cool. All right, do we want to... Do you want to hop right in? Hop into it. All right. So oh, great. I'm making you guys are making me nervous. <laughs> our podcast is called The Ladder, okay. and I'm not sure if you knew this before, but our main thing is we rank random, random things. So we've done okay. ranked every color in a 64 pack of crayons. Okay. Ranked crumble, uh, and this all started when we went around to the different elementary schools at the beginning of the year and ranked all of their playgrounds from best to worst. So for you today, we are going to have you rank. <laughs> <laughs> Some bald administrators oh. slash teachers. <laughs> awesome. Oh wow. This, this is this is pressure. <laughs> not based off of 
personality, how well you know them, just purely based off of their head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've never been asked this before, so this is going to be interesting. All right, so we got the list here. We have a list with some photos. I wasn't able oh to find gosh. photos of all the teachers. But we have photos of some. <laughs> we do have some. So we got uh, you, we got Mr. Boak, Mr. Paglio, Mr. Hayes, Mr. Francetic, <laughs> Mr. Bakar, Mr. Bandera, Mr. Sapp, Dr. Barnes, Mr. Tisdale, Dr. Leffler, uh, Mr. Whaley, Mr. Knighty, and Mr. Shirey. All right, so I have 14 people that I have to I have to rank order. Yeah, so. so Vinny will put this up in post, but we <laughs> will be showing Mr. Legan some of the bald people, <laughs> and Vinny will put it's those crazy. up on the screen so you guys can see I'm really going to offend someone in this, so I have to be careful. I mean, we just refresh. Listen, refresh th this is the easiest. It's number one. I mean, he's number my boss. It, he's my boss. So no, I mean, look at that nice shiny head right there. Um, you can see the glare coming off. I can. The a little it bit. is absolutely beautiful. Um, you can tell that that was a fresh mo uh, right before uh, right before he uh, he took that photo. You think he kind of buffed a little bit too? On top? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it is. And I do know some people that do put some wax on their head, and I'll. I saw someone on that list that already does that. So. <laughs> yeah. Who's number two? Who's next? <laughs> oh, Mr. Hayes. See, now, I, that's not necessarily fair because he uh, he's not completely bald, no, right? So it's bald. really, he's still holding there is, on. There, there is some like little bit of stuff. I get it. I get it. And it's hard It's hard to give that all up right now. So um, I pro I'd rank him towards the bottom, and he's an incredible person, but... You know, just I'm just looking at the head right now, so the, the stubble is... really just throws me off. Fair. That is really good. Bandera. Coach Bandera. <laughs> He's got a fantastic uh, head right there. I mean, just just look how official he looks there. Um, a little intimidating, um, but I don't know. I, I, I like it. He's He's had that for a really, really long time, so I'd probably put him in my top ten. Top ten. And he rocks it. He's rocking it. He does <laughs> rock it. And I think um, it matches the forearms as well. So. <laughs> Mr. Tisdale. Mr. Tisdale. Um, I love Mr. Tisdale. He's incredible. So I'm going to put him at number five. Um, and part of it, I just love his personality. So it, I know it's hard to remove that, um, but number five. <laughs> Great smile attached to that one. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I, I, once I'm again, not completely I mean, come on there, friend Sedek. Just, 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 <laughs> just, just give it just, up. Yeah, you, you have to completely give that up. I'd be more than happy to show you how to do it. Um, uh, and maybe we could do that during an upcoming assembly. So he would be that'd, towards the bottom. That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> bald Fun. teachers officially finally go bald. Back art. <laughs> it looks like the beard is really throwing me off right now. <laughs> it looks so. like he removed all the hair from the top of his head and to do his chin. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Queen of Skin, Mr. Mackar right there. I, listen, I, the beard is really just throwing me off right now. I can't, I can't concentrate. I love the beard. Some of these uh, photos are a little outdated, but this is... <laughs> oh, good photos. Love Mr. Mackar. No Shave November turned into No Shave all year for Mr. Mackar. Oh, Pegs. All right. Now, he's really trying to look intimidating right there. He's not intimidating whatsoever. He is also trying to hold on to whatever yeah. he has left. Uh -huh. So he is definitely towards the bottom. I don't know how many more we have, but <laughs> look, look, look how happy the ears, I mean, everything right there. So, um, he is one that I believe waxes his head before he we comes saw, to the school. I mean, we saw him last week, his head did look very it shiny. It was, it yeah. was very <laughs> shiny. We made a comment about I guarantee if you take a candle, or I'm sorry, a uh, match and just put it on top, it might light up. So, we'll see. Getting down towards the I am not. I'm not yeah. judging myself. Listen, I'm number. I'm number fourteen. You so. gotta throw it in there. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. No, I'm number fourteen. Great, great bow tie. Thank you. I, I like the bow tie, only for uh, uh, really big occasions. All right, uh, Mr. Knighty. Love Mr. Knighty. Um, I'm gonna put him as my number two because uh, he's been rocking it for a long time, and I used to teach in the math department, so he is my idol when it comes to a, a bald head. So thank you, Mr. Knighty. All right, so we're going to go back up because we didn't have a photo of all the teachers. Okay, so Mr. Sapinaro, no doubt, he put some kind of coconut oil or something on his head. <laughs> um, so I put him up there in the probably number number four. Who else am I am I leaving off? We are nice. Oh, Shirey's up there. Whaley. Um, it's a 92. <laughs> Who else did we rank already? 
Bailey, I think you said top five. Yeah, you know, um, put him, put him at number four. Put him at four. Yeah. Black car. We, <laughs> we, we skipped that. We skipped that. It was going. really hard. The vehicle throws yeah. it off. Yeah, um, I put yeah. as much stubble on Mr. Macar mm -hmm. as some of the other guys. No, and same with with Shirey, with Whaley. Like I, Whaley, I would probably put at number six. Shirey at number seven. They're 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 pretty they're pretty equal. Pretty. Yeah. Interchange will just flip the. They are. On the day. Day. Shiny. I mean, who yeah. took a shower in the morning? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. We also got Mr. Boke. Oh yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to think if he's holding on to any any stubble. I don't. Yes, he, he is. is. Okay. <laughs> so you know it's he's going to be in my bottom five. So somewhere around like put him at the bottom. Twelve, thirteen, top ten. Yeah. So we got one. So we need a. Uh, we have a one. We need a three. Yeah. We need a three. All right. So where where did I put Bandy? Bandy, you put at the four. Okay. Um, I will put. Let's see. I will put Leffler at three. Solid pick there. Good, good pick at the three. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. <laughs> but most importantly, we have number one, right? We have Dr. Barnes yeah, at number Dr. one. Yeah, Dr. Barnes number one. You've heard that, Dr. Barnes. Three Leffler, four Madeira, now round up top five. All right, top five. Um, let's put sap there because it had coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, sap. he's always standing by the uh, where the spirit store used to be at the beginning of the day. It's great just to walk in, walk past, and just see that magnificent glare. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> next time, just just get a little smell. I, I guarantee you. Yeah. Yeah. Gu 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 guarantee you. Um, Peg Leo, I'm gonna put at 13. <laughs> Peg Leo's at the bottom. Yeah, that stubble really bothers me. <laughs> Just too much. Francetic, number 12. <laughs> I'm 14. <laughs> we'll put Boke at 11. So we got, who we got left? We got Mr. Hayes, Mr. Macar. Yeah, so uh, Hayes, um, uh, it's kind of a tie with 12 just because of that stuff again. <laughs> Tied for 12 with yeah. one. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Hayes. Josh Hayes, that is. Matt Carr, that beard. Uh, you know, what? we're going to put him at lucky number seven. I don't know why. It's just, it we just, have Shire at seven. Okay. Keep yeah, we'll, we'll keep we'll it. Tied, tied for seven. Then, tied for yeah, seven. tied for seven. Eight. It is an impressive beard. I love it. So it puts... He does when he wears it out. Yeah. It was, it was solid. Yeah, it was, like, it it was solid. like the COVID beard. I love it. All right, are we good? Yeah, let's read it's a very off good these. list. Lead off. Let's hear. All right, Go so through. we have Dr. Barnes at number one, uh, Mr. Knighty at number two. Who's number three? Leffler. Mr. Leffler. Leffler. Mr. Leffler at number three. Uh, Coach Bandera at number four. Number five is Mr. Sapp. Uh, where's number six? six number six, Mr. Whaley. Whaley. Seven was Shirey. Uh, tied, actually tied for seven is Shirey and Makar. Uh, Nine. No, we had no eight. So, Mr. Tisdale, number nine. Did we have a ten? Ten, did we? No, I don't think so. Boke at eleven. Uh, tied for twelve is Mr. Hayes and Francetic, just because that stubble. Yeah. You know? Stubble just killed. Yeah. Stubble's Can't killed a lot of these guys. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and then You're either going to fully commit or not. 13, 13 was Paglio, and then Mr. Lee put himself at 14. So, on the topic of bald, um, <laughs> do you have any favorite bald actors or actresses or singers? Oh gosh, favorite bald act actors, actresses, or singers? Um, I guess I really don't pay much attention to the to the hair. Um, gosh, I will say this: I I will never forget Sinead O'Connor back uh, in the '90s. She was completely bald, and it was uh, it was a great message and. Um, I don't know. I, 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 she, she was big for a while, so that's something that just really stands out to me. With regards Is to that actors, one of your major influences? No, no. <laughs> Listen, I don't have a major influence. It was just it was genetics. That was my major influence. Um, if I can have a beautiful head of hair, I, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would go go back. Um, actors, I don't know. Samuel Jackson, I love. Um, that's a great bald head. Yeah. I don't know. That's the first one that pops into, pops into my mind. 
Yeah, it's the first that pops into a lot of people's minds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, you want to we'll go step away from the ball of this for a sec? All right, cool. Um, do you have any like podcasts or TV shows you do and watch or listen to in your free time? Um, yeah, so I guess just shows in general. Um, unfortunately, I am roped into many of the housewives because uh, <laughs> that's uh, the time I spend with, with my wife. That's, I, I watch a lot of that. Um, Ted Lasso by far is my favorite. I mean, I cannot <laughs> wait. I cannot wait for season three to come out. Um, but honestly, I I I like to watch things that make me feel more normal about myself. So I think that's probably why I watch more of The Housewives. <laughs> All right. So I think our viewers want to know. It's a normal weekend. Like, what's okay. a normal weekend like for you? You got no school events. Nothing you really have to okay. go and do. Okay. So. Really, it's watching my kids, you know, at their at their athletic contests, which I absolutely love. Um, both my daughters, you know, um, involved in volleyball, softball. Um, it's really just spending some time with them. Um, I just started uh, going to breakfast with um, with my daughter. Um, I like it to be plural daughters. Um, we pick somewhere every Saturday, and we go do that just to spend time together. Um, and to be honest with you, I just try to read a little bit, uh, get, get, try to work out over the weekend, um, but it's really about family. I absolutely love my family, and I don't know, it's, it, it's great to be at home because I really don't spend time at home during the week. Mm -hmm. So about the breakfast, so it seems like you've been to a few spots yeah, already. Yeah. Do you have a favorite spot? I do, like spot? yours truly is probably one of my favorites. That and First Watch. Um, I like the First Watch out in Pinecrest. The years truly, I know this one's closed now for a couple yeah. months, um, but I'll go out to Menor and uh, where did, I'm trying to think where uh, my daughter and I just, where we just went last week. You can tell how memorable it was, um, but I, we'll, we'll try, we'll just try some random places as well. A good so. place to try is, um, you had, I think it's Skillet Cafe in um, Chesterland. Oh yeah, yes. That's a good place. Yeah, that okay. is a good place. And actually, now you just jogged my memory. Chagrin Valley Diner in uh, downtown Willoughby. That's where we just were. It was really good. Can I give a recommendation? Please do. I love uh, the original House of Pancakes. Okay. Bring oh, the, the one um, right across from um, Eaton. I think so. Is that right? I think so. R right on Chagrin. Yeah. 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 That's very good too. Okay. Delicious. I, are you? So you're a pancake guy. I love pancakes. Okay. I'm an omelet guy. We're not the food guy. We're just food guys. Okay. I think. I'm a big breakfast person. You know, personally, I think breakfast is like just an elite meal of the day. <laughs> I totally agree. If I could, I'd get rid of lunch and I would just go from breakfast right to dinner. That's who I am. I think I think that's very good. We know you. Me and my family know you like breakfast. I love breakfast. <laughs> we, we took him. We took him to um, the original Pancake House one day, and he, he literally doubled our bill from what it normally was. Really? He, he, <laughs> he had, doubled he the bill? so much food, and he had like pancakes, bacon, hey, I, coffee. I finished all of that. He did finish it all, but... <laughs> Hold on, during season? No. I think okay. this, this is after. <laughs> it was after, I think. Makes sense. Uh, I don't think we have very... Any more questions? Okay. I think, I think that about wraps up. Yeah. Cool. I think that's a good Cool. Moment. Thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Absolutely. It's Thank good. you for coming on our podcast. Being our yeah. first, first guest. Yeah. All right. Cool. All Thanks, right. guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Much. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. This has been another episode of The Ladder. We'll see you guys next week.